Welcome back to the channel and to the Lakeside Vale contest. Our builders had 10 weeks to create a fully functioning theme park adhering to many strict rules and regulations laid out by the Lakeside Vale County Council. Unfortunately, some creators didn't make it into the final cut, whether that be due to criteria not being met or simply not submitting on time. Whilst these parks cannot be voted for, there's no reason why we can't take a wander round regardless. The park we are looking at today was created by Fuero, and here's what he had to say. A big, lush adventure park made by the Lakeside Vale Council. However, too little theming for me, but thank god I had money left over from last year's tax fund, and I've added a lot of scenery. Enjoy the almost finished park. Nice and simple, let's jump into it. Now I won't be touring this park on my own, today I'm joined by the one and only Mineral. Mineral is not only one of the softest spoken Brits on the internet, but a key member of Bro Nation and contributor of Masked Bandit and N7's No Name Landia. Hello Mineral. Hello Moomin. I'm excited to be here, I'm a big fan of Fuero and his work, so I know this is going to be fantastic. I'm immediately very excited just from these sight lines outside here. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, I did actually see Fuero uh, start to build this coaster on stream and it was looking incredible. So I'm very glad we actually get to look at this because I was disappointed when he said he wasn't going to submit. But here we are. We get to see it. Everyone's yeah, happy. Yeah, it's awesome. That mine train coming over the hill there. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? That's so good. And then the set piece with the airplane and the... I also just love the massive gulpy <laughs> sponsorship <laughs> yes. logo. Yeah, really He's good. Really um, gone gone for it with the uh, gulpy sponsorship, and uh, which is exactly what I wanted to see. And uh, yeah, I yeah. love that. But yeah, this this weenie here in the park entrance, like it's so important to have that standout feature, and um, you immediately recognise when you pull up into the car park. And yeah, you're just... like, I want to go there. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to that thing. Let's get in the park. Here we are. Wow. This is awesome. It is. Already just so immersive. Yeah, the music, the way the square is kind of completely surrounding you when you come in. It is. It's almost a bit kind of Arabian. Love it. Got the strollers. Yeah, they're very Got cool. the little pushy things. <laughs> Whatever those are. Wheelchairs. Yeah. And a Gulby gift shop. <laughs> of course. Love these floor decals as well. Yeah, that's really cool. Amazing. Right, let's get in the park, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> just <laughs> constantly distracted cool. by things. <laughs> yeah, there's just cool stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, Diamond Town. Gulpy Stunt Show. Fantastic. Love me some stunts. I want to see Gulpy doing a backflip. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Now this here is obviously the existing river and uh, kind of cave that was in the park, but he's completely redressed it all to match mm. his theme, which is a really fantastic uh, way of doing that, instead of just kind of paving over the whole thing, incorporating yeah. it into the, um, the existing existing park is amazing. Okay, here we go. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Already. you. I don't know what I'm being thanked for, but... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah cheers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We've got a sequencer. Here we go. Hello, Moomin, and other friends and people who are watching... This is Fuero, and um, this was supposed to be the Gulpy Stunt Show. It's not, but I want to take the time here to talk to you about this amazing community we have. We have an amazing community, and a lot of people around me have become friends. I was having a tough time uh, when finishing this park, and that's why I never uh, finished it. And I just want to thank all these friends in this amazing community who were there uh, for me, uh, supporting me. And uh, thank you Moomin for doing this spotlight and an amazing contest. Just a little note, if you have problems with mental health, and I do have them and rest assured, not a problem at the moment. But if you do have mental problems, just remember you're never alone. There's always ways to reach out and especially in this community with these amazing people, you can find somebody. Again, thank you and enjoy the park. God damn you, Fuero, making me have feelings and emotions. <laughs> <laughs> that was but very well said by Fuero there. It was a beautiful message and a very important message. And, and just to reiterate what Fuero said there, um, Planet Little Socks is obviously uh, a safe space for everyone. So. 
ever got any issues, talk to me, talk to the community. We're here. Beautiful stuff. Thank you for putting that message out there. And I'm now very, very excited to explore this park. I was thinking like, wow, this is a really cool idea to have like a kind of um, director's commentary, like <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> as you go around the park, have the person kind of describing uh, unfinished the, the parts process. of it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, this, is, this feels unique. Very lovely. Gulpy. Should we get one? Gulpy. Yeah, go on then. I would like one of each. I'll have blue. <laughs> just, just blue. Whatever the blue one is. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And wow, you look at this. Yeah, that's awesome. That beamy roof structure is so cool. It's amazing. And all Gulpy themed, of course. Of course. With the ancient artifacts everywhere. <laughs> Presumably these are sort of fiberglass replicas of the, you would uh, hope so. of the ancient yeah. artifact, yeah. yeah. One of them is just the real one, that's just they've slapped some paint <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah. Veil food. This is lovely. Very nice. It is. And we've got real windows. I get very excited about real windows. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I do love an over themed restaurant. Yeah. And this feels like very real in terms of the kind of You've got the kind of overly, you've got the themed inside, and then you've got the classic like metal tables and chairs just to kind of <laughs> yes. contrast the theming yeah. as just you would have in a theme park. Always half ass it. Well, yeah, we'll do yeah. some bits, but then oh, just put some normal <laughs> chairs in there. That's fine. Yeah. That'll do. Love it. The Iron Claw is. So that's. Up it's there, a bridge maybe? queue. Bathrooms. Oh, nice. Lovely. That's something that I never do, is bathroom interiors. Yeah, I think that's like a bridge too far for me, generally. <laughs> yes. But all power to you. Absolutely. I'm a little bit exposed with the urinals, but <laughs> <laughs> never yeah. mind. Is this the Monte Leone? I believe so. Did I get it right this time? I did get it right this time. It's always 50-50, isn't it, really? <laughs> that one or when the it comes one. to Monte Leones. <laughs> exactly. Lovely rock work. Yeah, I was going to say, nice, um, nice facade at the back there. That's a cool sight line with that pagoda thing. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a s splash of Asian. We all love a splash of Asian, don't we? <laughs> don't we just? <laughs> I was trying to get over here to get to the Iron Claw, and now I've just got lost. I can see the queue. <laughs> Help me. Where is it? This way? There we go. This way. There we go. We did it. Nice, cool view of that coaster just then, down to the mm. left. Wow. It's got those cool giant causeway rocks that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> See exactly what I was just thinking. I knew it was the giant causeway, <laughs> but I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, we already sound intelligent. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, flashed it. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it. Lovely integration with the Iron Claw there. Now... Do I go this way or do I go this way? Help me. Make a decision for me. Let's go um, under the tunnel on the right. Okay. Ooh, we've got our vista point. And what a great vista point it is. Yeah, that's really cool. Amazing. The coaster looks awesome. It does. Fantastic. Can't wait to jump on that. Mm. Shrine of the required gulpy vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to integrate the required Gulpy vending machine. Yeah, I feel like this is a, an appropriate amount of pomp for a Gulpy mm. vending machine. 100%, yeah. More toilets. Lovely. And here's that pagoda. Mm. Beautiful. Ooh, the indoor tree. That's cool. Like custom cherry, cherry blossom. blossom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Lovely. Beautiful. Let's flip him well do it. Let's.
Well, I mean, what can you even say? <laughs> what a fantastic coaster that was. Yeah, that was lovely stuff. I love the way it's kind of dives into this ravine. Yes, absolutely. Valley area and just kind of weaves around inside there. Just really beautifully done. Really smooth coaster. It's hard to get, like, that, that many twists, turns and inversions in such a small space and yeah. not be jank. <laughs> and it definitely wasn't. <laughs> Um, I also really love the sight line as you're coming onto the, um, the launch at the start and you've got that big kind of tree leaning over across the track. Yes. That moment felt really cool. Yeah, I love I that. Hope. Yeah, I think it, the scenery is what sells this for me. Like, yeah. This is such time time consuming work. Yeah, that must have taken ages. <laughs> it really <laughs> looks great. That's definitely worth it. Yeah. Fantastic coaster. Has this doubled us back around to where we were just <laughs> yeah, now? I think so. Getting very lost, but in a good way. Yeah, now I'm back here. Yep, bathroom's there. We've got Let's go this spin. way. What's up here? Top spin. Of course. Oh, look at that view. It's amazing. And you get a little glimpse of the uh, the other coaster there as well behind it. Yeah. There's loads of greatly greatly planned sight lines in this park. Yeah. Definitely. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you turn, you're kind of being, you're getting a glimpse of something in the background that's mm. piquing your interest. Yeah, yeah. I almost like that. I'm getting a little bit lost in this park. It's fun. Um, yeah, it's a great park to get lost in. It gives it that kind of adventure vibe. Absolutely. The adventure is Moomin finding his way to the next ride. <laughs> Look at this. That's really hard to do with a queue line. Yeah. Yeah, getting that kind of smooth ramp like that. Mm. Love this interaction here. Absolutely. Is this so rapid? Oh, God, help. Might be. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. Ooh. Car park. Car park. That's an additional car park <laughs> as well. That's not even the car park that I did. Maybe that's staff parking or something. Potentially, yeah. I'll have a little peek at that. Okie dokie. Time for the rapids. How quaint was that? That was cracking stuff, that was. It was lovely. A beautiful theming all the way around, just really relaxing, but I personally mm. loved how terrified the other guests were on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so suppressing a laugh there a couple of times. They the guy was just absolutely losing his, <laughs> his marbles. <laughs> yes, as he was just slowly <laughs> sauntering around. <laughs> but no, uh, uh, brilliant um, rapids. Yeah, it was lovely. Really scene. nice rock work all the way around. 
I love this little plaza here. Yeah, that's great. Circles are not easy to achieve, especially with pathing. The way he's got the um, the kind of brick pattern going in a circle as well, mm. out from the middle, it's really nice. It is. Yeah, very difficult to do, but beautiful when it works. And again, lovely sight lines of the rest of the park. Oh, we've got a bit of um, we infrastructure just there. We spotted that. Don't beautiful. mind that. No, not at all. And it's got access to the exterior service roads as well. Amazing. Very nice. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Okay, back down on the ground. Where are we going? <laughs> Let's see. This is lovely. It's very nice, yeah. Bit of a shade cover. I like the kind mm. of glass panels on the right as well to sort of stop you getting... Uh, Oh, yeah. Falling into the into the flume, the rapids. Yeah, and preventing any splash. Yeah, it's a um, really nice touch. But a beautiful little viewing area. Mm. Just delightful. I'm thoroughly enjoying this park. Ooh, this is a bit of a cave. Mm. These are very underused as well. These are the. Um... Oh, is that a Ghostbusters yes, thing? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Wheelchair access. Please ring bell and wait for assistance. How oh, lovely. Very lovely. What's that? Is that an exit path or something? Yeah, I'm guessing that's the exit to the coaster. Aha. Uh -huh. And here's our entrance. Wow, this is very cool. It is. Sort of mine shaft. Hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. I almost feel like I should be... Yes, at night time. Ooh. Atmospheric. Ah. Beautiful. Moody, spoopy. Lovely stuff. And we've got ourselves a mine train, which I'm a huge fan of. Yeah, same. So, let's jump on. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, where, where to even begin with that? It's just stunning. <laughs> yeah, that isn't was it? awesome. You can appreciate it even more from off ride. Absolutely. The way it's kind of weaving in and out of the rock work. Yeah. It's so difficult to pull off. Yeah, you've got pieces sticking out everywhere. Absolutely. But yeah, there's just so much to uh, absorb <laughs> with this, and it's got a full backstage area as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't even put it into words. But um, <laughs> it was yeah. really good. It was just really, really good. I love <laughs> yeah. how much it just hugs the terrain, the rock work, yeah. all the way around. Um, and then this sudden dive down here it was just amazing. Yeah, that was really fun. And then you just got near misses everywhere, yeah. so it's always felt exciting. It was either exciting or pretty to look at, so you're kind of always <laughs> yes. satisfied. Yeah, one of the two. But yeah, I mean, that's definitely up there. One of the best mine trains I've seen. Just the overall kind of like sculpting of the mountain shape and everything just looks really nice. It does. Emerald Mountain. Beautiful work. Lovely view out here. Mm. Hip shot. Drink the wave. Everyone drink your water. Always stay hydrated. Yeah. Crash. Crash. Ooh. It's a looper plane. Oh, no, yeah, nice tie in there with the theming in the back. Absolutely. Lovely little seating area. Mm. Very tranquil. I I want to be in this park. Yeah, it's lovely. And it's good to balance your pacing out with the little moments of tranquility and excitement. Mm. Absolutely. So it looks like we've got a little bit of night lighting just over here in the entrance, which is fine. 
because you can now imagine what the rest of the park would look like because this is really <laughs> beautiful subtle lighting yeah lovely little lanterns mm. very vibey lovely stuff well i had no doubt considering it's fuero this was going to be an incredible park and um, what really stood out to me is Fuero is known for being really kind of over the top, uh, cartoony, like bringing his humor into his parks. And this has just shown that he's capable of so much more in terms of the realism, the, the high end realistic theming. He's just clearly capable of everything. <laughs> That's what I've learned from this. Absolutely. He smashed it out of the park. I'm kind mm. of running out of um, superlatives <laughs> to describe it, really. But it's. Yes. Um, He's done very well. And as you say, the way it's kind of like highly detailed, uh, high, sort of high budget theming, but done in a yeah. kind of realistic way. I'm always a big fan of that. Mm, absolutely. Um, just very nice. Considering the comparison between Fuero's Park for New Park Who Dis, last year's contest, he's come so far since then. Um, he's already a fantastic builder, but yeah, leaps and bounds again. And I mean, this coaster is just <laughs> such a standout. Like that yeah. is phenomenal. Absolutely love it. Yeah, brilliant work, Fuero. I'd like to say a huge thanks to my wonderful guests for joining me today. Please remember today's part cannot be voted for, but despite that, don't forget to like this video, not only to support me, but to show some love to today's creator. Catch you in the next one.